I'm a total Sonic the Hedgehog fan, much like everyone else. I like the newer games, but I don't mind playing the classics. I don't think I've ever played glitchy or hacked games before, though I don't think I want to play any after the experience that I had. It started on a nice summer afternoon. I was playing Sonic Unleashed. I like how you get to explore the town in it. Until I noticed out of my peripheral vision that the mailman had arrived and put something in my mailbox, as usual, and left. I paused my game to go see what I got in the mail. The only thing in the mailbox was a CD case for computers and a note. I took a look inside. I took it inside. I looked at the note first and realized that it was from my dear friend Kyle, let's just call him that, whom I hadn't heard from in two weeks. I know that because I recognized his handwriting, though what was weird is how it looked. It looked badly written and scratchy and somewhat difficult to read, as if Kyle was having a hard time writing it down and did it in a hurry. This is what he wrote. Tom. I can't take it anymore. I, I had to get rid of this thing somehow before it was too late. And I was hoping that you'd do it for me. I can't do it. He's after me. And if you don't destroy the CD, he'll come for you too. He's too fast for me. Please, Tom. Destroy this godforsaken disc before he comes after you too. It's too late for me. Destroy the disc and you'll destroy him. But do it quick. Otherwise, he'll catch you. Don't even play the game. It's what he wants. Just destroy it. Please. Well, that was certainly weird. Even though Kyle is my best friend and I haven't seen him in two weeks, I didn't do what he asked me. I didn't think that a simple gaming disc would do anything bad to him. I mean, after all, it's just a game, right? I was wrong. Anyway, I looked at the disc and it looked like an ordinary computer CDR disc, except it had black marker on it written Sonic.exe. And it was much unlike Kyle's handwriting, meaning that he must have gotten it from somebody else, like a pawn shop or eBay. And... Well, when I saw Sonic on the writing of the CD, I was actually excited and wanted to play it since, since I'm a big Sonic fan. I went up to my room, turned on my computer, put the disc in, and installed the game. When the title screen popped up, I noticed that it was the first Sonic game. and I was like, awesome, because, like I said earlier, I like the classics. And the first thing I noticed that was out of place was when I pressed start. There was a split second when I saw the title image turn into something... different. Something that I now consider horrifying before it got to black. I remember what the image looked like in that split second before the game cut to black. The sky had darkened. The title emblem was rusted, ruined. The Sega 1991 was now Sega 666. And the water had turned red, like blood. Except, it looked so realistic. But the freakiest thing was that, in that split second, Sonic, his eyes were pitch black and bleeding, with two glowing red dots staring right at me. And his smile had stretched wider, up to the edge of his face. I was rather disturbed about that image when I saw it, though I figured that it was just a glitch and forgot about it. And after it cut to black, it stayed like that for about ten seconds or so, and then... And then another weird thing happened. The save file select from Sonic the Hedgehog 3 popped up. And I was like, what the fuck? That's... What's this doing here in the first Sonic game? Anyway, then I noticed something off in the background was the dark, cloudy sky of the bad Stardust Speedway level from Sonic CD. And there were only three save files. The music was that creepy Caverns of Winter music from Earthbound, and 
only it was extended and seemed to have been in reverse. And the image from the save file, where you see a preview of the level that you were just on, is just red static for all three files. What freaked me out more was the character select. It showed only Tails, Knuckles, and, to my surprise, Dr. Robotnik. Now, I was sure that something was up. I mean, how can you play as Robotnik in a classic Sonic game, for crying out loud? And that's when I realized that this wasn't a glitchy game. It was, it was a hacked game. Yeah, it definitely looked hacked. I mean, it was really creepy. But as a smart gamer, I wasn't scared. Or at least, I tried not to be. I told myself that it was just a hacked game. There's nothing wrong with that. Anyway, shaking off the creeped out feeling, I picked file 1, chose Tails, and when I selected and got started, the game froze for like 5 seconds. I heard this creepy, pixelated laugh that sounded like an awful lot like the Kefka guy from Final Fantasy before cutting to black. The screen stayed black for about 10 seconds or more, and then it showed the typical level title thing, except the simplistic shapes were different shades of red, and the text showed only Hill, Act 1. The screen faded in, and the level title vanished, revealing tales in the Green Hill Zone from Sonic 1. The music was different, though. It sounded like a peaceful melody in reverse. Anyway, I started playing, and Tails started running like you would in any other classic Sonic game. What was odd was that as Tails was running along the level, there was nothing but flat ground and a few trees for like five minutes. That was when the peaceful music started to lower down into slow, deep tones, very slowly, as they kept going. I suddenly saw something, and I stopped to see what it was. It was one of the small animals lying dead on the ground, bleeding. That was when the music started to slow down. Tails had a shocked and saddened look on his face, one that I'd never seen him with before. So I had him move along, and he kept that worried look on his face. As he kept moving, I saw more dead animals as Tails just moved past them, looking more and more worried. As the music lowers, he moves past more dead animals. I was shocked to see how they all died. They looked like someone killed them in a rather gruesome way. A squirrel was hanged on a tree, with what appeared to be his entrails hanging out. A bunny had all four of his limbs torn off, and a duck had his eyes gouged out and his throat slit. I felt sick to my stomach when I saw this massacre, and apparently so did Tails. After a few more seconds, there was no more animals, and the music seemed to have stopped. I still kept Tails continuing. After a minute passed after the music had stopped, Tails was running up a hill, and then he stopped. It wasn't until I saw why. Sonic was there on the other side of the screen, with his back against Tails, with his eyes closed. Tails looked happy to see Sonic, but then his smile faltered, obviously noticing that Sonic wasn't responding to him. If not acting, if not acting as if he was totally oblivious to Tails' presence, Tails walked slowly towards Sonic, and I noticed that I wasn't even pressing my keyboard to make him move. So this had to be some sort of cutscene? Suddenly, I began to have a growing feeling of dread as Tails walked closer to Sonic to get his attention. I felt that Tails was in danger and something bad was going to happen. I heard faint static growing louder as Tails was but inches away from Sonic and stopped and stuck his hand out to touch him. That, for that foreboding feeling in my gut was growing stronger, and I felt the urge to tell Tails to get away from Sonic as the static grew louder. And suddenly, in a split second, I saw Sonic's eyes open, and they were black with those glowing red dots. 
just like the title image. Though there wasn't a smile. When that happened, the screen turned to black and the static sound was off. It stayed black for about seven seconds. Then white text appeared, forming a message, saying, Hello. Do you want to play with me? At this point, I was creeped out. I didn't want to continue with the game, but my curiosity got the better of me. When I was taken to a different level, with the level title now saying, Hide and Seek. This time, I was in the Angel Island level from Sonic 3, and it looked like everything was on fire. Tails looked as though he was scared out of his wits this time. He actually looked at me and made frantic gestures to me as if he wanted me to get out of the area that he was in as fast as possible. I was starting to get freaked out by this. I mean, Tails was actually breaking the fourth wall, trying to tell me to get him out of there. So I pressed down on the arrow key as hard as I could and made him run as fast as he could. A pixelated version of that creepy theme when you meet Shadow at the Ark as Robotnik from Sonic Adventure 2 was playing as I made Tails trek through the desolated forest, trying to help him escape from whatever he was trying to run from. Suddenly I heard that creepy laugh again, that awful Kafka laugh. Right after ten seconds had passed, I helped Tails run through the forest, and then I started seeing flashes of Sonic popping up everywhere on the screen, again with those black eyes. The red dots. The music changed in that suspenseful, drowning jingle as I heard Sonic behind Tails slowly gaining up on him, flying. Sonic wasn't running, he was actually flying. The flying pose his sprite was making looked very similar to Metal Sonic's flying pose in Sonic CD, except he was just Sonic, and he had the black and red eyes again. Only this time, he had the most deranged looking grin on his face. He looked as though he was enjoying the torment he was giving that poor little fox as he gained up on him. Suddenly, when Tails tripped, another cutscene. The music stopped. Sonic vanished. Tails laid there, started crying for maybe 15 seconds. The screen was rather upsetting to watch, and I kind of teared up myself. But then Sonic appeared, right in front of Tails, and he looked up in horror blood started to come down those blackened eyes of Sonic's as his grin slowly grew from his face as he looked down at the horrified fox I could do nothing but watch just in a split second Sonic lunged at Tails right before the screen went black there was a loud screeching noise that lasted five seconds the text returned only this time it said you're too slow. Wanna try again? And then that god-awful laugh came back. I was so shocked by what happened. I mean, did... Did Sonic just murder Tails? No. No, he, he couldn't have. I mean, he and Tails are supposed to be best friends, right? I mean, why did Sonic do that to him? I shook off the shock as I was brought back to the character select. The save file that had Tails was different. Tails was no longer in the box itself, but the TV screen, which was flickering with that red static. And Tails' expression scared me. His eyes were black and bleeding. His orange fur had gone black, and he had an expression of anguish on his face. Trying to ignore it, I picked Knuckles instead. A laugh came on again, and the screen cut to black. It stayed there for another ten seconds, and this time, the level said, You can't run. 
I was really freaked out by now. I couldn't really tell if it was a glitch or a hack or some kind of sick, twisted joke or anything really, but despite my fear of what happened next, I kept playing. 